Hello everyone, I'm Jung Chul. Today's topic is the SNORT as NIDS. In this video for SNORT, I prepare four parts. This part one will focus on the SNORT and installation. Part two, how to use SNORT. Part three, the rules and update. And part four, third party enhancement. So this part, this video is a part one to focus on SNOT and SNOT installation. To know the SNOT, at first we have to understand the meaning, the intrusion detection system, normally we say IDS. And I think the almost every company has the network defense or protection models using this kind of things. First one, planning, prevention, detection, and response. Normally, planning can be implemented by this kind of things, policy, or security policy, or security rules, prevention by IPS, detection by IDS. Using this kind of things, if we uh, detect some the network attack, then we need to the uh, adequate the responses, such as email, the notification, and alert and terminal the terminator sessions and report so we can say intrusion detection is the process of the discovering analyzing and reporting unauthorized or damaging network or computer activities so intrusion detection system ideas has this kind of things first one and ideas so and ideas mean all network traffic is monitored by network-based intrusion detection systems. HIDS, we can say computer processes are monitored by a host-based intrusion detection system. So normally in NIDS, focusing on the network traffic, but HIDS normally focus on computer processes. And to combine these two things, we can say hybrid system. So hybrid system examines network traffic to or from the host as well as or process as well. So NIDS is easier to deploy and manage, but HIDS may give greater visibility to events. Intelligent detection is the basics. Normally, intrusion detection system has their own the signatures. Signatures is a kind of hacking or attack patterns. So using this kind of things, signatures normally intrusion detection or IPS is working. And intrusion detection, the system can look for footprint, first step, drop the packet, the kind of the second step, and raise the alert. The third step. Ideas and firewall are a bit different. Firewall normally need to process all packet, and normally firewall using the file or packet filtering service. So filtering capacity and firewall limited by need to deliver packets in timely manners. But ideas can take each time. And IDS does not drop the packet but send a lot and loads. Intelligent detection systems can deploy. It means which the price or location is available or the best. For, for example, and network IDS means and IDS behind the firewall and internal routers. And the host based IDS means HIDS at all host and distributed ideas throughout the local network at strategic locations. So according to the needs of each company, we can uh, deploy this kind of intelligent uh, detection systems. Snort, if you visit this website, snort.org, then you can find all kinds of the information about the Snort. We can say SNOT is a packet sniffer. It means capture and display packet from network with different levels of detail on the console. Here, 
different level means the layer 2, layer 3, layer 4, and layer 7 as well. Packet logos, it means normally the snort after the capture and display discount packet and support the logging data in text file as well. Honeypot monitor, it means deceiving hostile parties from attackers. And this one also fast, flexible, small footprint, and open source and ideas developed by the security community. So read code coder is Martin Loshit. And this one, this guy now found this website, securesourcefire.com. Snod at first initially developed in late 1998 as a sniff with consistent output and this system is unlike full protocol dependent off of tcp dump so what is a snort so we can say snort is an ideas so an ideas is intrusion detection system tries to detect malicious activities such as for example denial of service attack like a dose and pull the scan or even attempt to crack into computers by monitoring network traffic. And we can say SNOD is open source network intrusion prevention and detection systems. Normally SNOD use the rule based the rule based language combining signatures. Normally say it's a kind of hacking patterns and the protocol and normally inspection method. So we can say SNOD is the most widely de deploying intelligent decision system and prevention the prevention technology and now we can say the snow become the standard technology worldwide in the industry snow the matrix so snow is very the small size so normally the source if you download normally around five only the megabyte and this of so the portable in the Linux, Solaris, BSD, Ilix, HP Unix, and Windows as well. And this one you can say is so fast, mean high probability of detection for a given attack on average networks. And configurable as well, easy rules, language, and many reporting and the logging options, such as the using like a database as well. And the free, this one is a GPL open source software. The latest version is 2.9.6 and in the January 2014. Okay, Snod installation. So to install Snod, we need this kind of the packages. First one, please the download this kind of Snod 2.9.6 and the DAQ as well. And uh, to install Snow, we need some the library like uh, PCAP and the PCRLE and library DNET like this. Please download this one also. Number two, download Snow rule packages. Uh, we can download this to the package. And installation, first one, package installation order. We need to install this kind of packages in turn like this. And number four, how to compile the packages, especially the file extension with tar.gz, tar.gz, or tar.bz2. These kind of things normally use this kind of options to extract this kind of package, tar.xbjf, the package name. And after that, go to inside the package name and there, configure, make, make, install. Then we can install this kind of packages. If you are successful to install the snow, then press the test the snow using this one. If config ETH or promise, then this one will change the interface mode to promising mode. And of that snow hyphen V, then this command will show the version of snow you already installed. Okay, then let's try to install the snow. In my case, I already the download this kind of the packages. So first, let's try to install first one.
At first, I install the Oink master, and after that, I will rules, and after that, mv, okay, mv is not rules, and snapshots, okay, here, and after that, it's not rules here, okay. Tar XB ZF is not snapshots. Okay. Then we can find the three kind the four kinds the directory etc pro proc the rules and just the rules. So rules. later we will the copy this directory to snort the directories. Okay, and after that, library pcap tar. Okay, and after that, let's try to install like this. Configure first. Okay, and after that, make, compile, and after that, install. Okay, I'm uh, successful to install this one. Okay, and after that, Try to install. Okay, close. Okay, in this case, we have to use the option, not uh, JF. Okay, and after that, configure. Okay, make, confine, and make install. Okay, and after that, Tar Dnet configure or you can we can use the three command together make make install. Okay, and after that, tar xvjf uh, daq also configure make make install. Okay, then now the last one, snow. It's not in my case, 2.9.6rc. Okay, and snow. So you can see this kind of things. Configure.
Okay, then make compile make install. Okay, now I am successful to install Snort. So here, let's uh, check Jero. Then you can see here, Pharmacy, the Pharmacy mode, and uh, also ETH1. Okay, then let's check the where is the snot. Okay, snot hyphen V. Then you can see button two nine two dot nine dot six button. Now this one is uh, successful to install the snot. Okay, in the next video I will show you how to use snot. Thank you for watching this video and see you part two.